Hello, this is Klopfer321, and this tutorial is a, an introduction to object-oriented programming. So object-oriented uh, refers to the use of objects, and I kind of sketched up a quick uh, diagram for this. So we have some sort of class here. Let me zoom up. So we have some class, and it looks at some sort of variable. Um, however, this class also has two functions, foo and bar. And if you want to know what foo and bar came from, I don't know, but it's a popular thing to use for an example. Um, and bar also looks at this variable a, which is within this class. And then what can be interesting is that foo can return an object or bar can return an object based on um, something that is set in a. So here I have another class which um, has a function called z, and it has e, f, and g for variables. z looks at both e and g, and other class is just kind of itself there. So if I wanted to kind of refer um, in the idea that foo returns another class, which is another object, I can then use z after foo. So I'll just connect this up real quick. Um, so kind of in an idea here, some class is initiated, and then somebody calls foo, which returns this other class. And from that, they can then uh, use the function z, um, independent of this class here. Uh, z does not see a and z. However, z can still see g, f, and e. However, I just have it set up so it's only looking at E and G in theory. So just to kind of uh, put this into perspective with the code, I can say um, class um, and I'll just say sum and start with that. So we have a class named sum and we can make a new object called sum. But that's not uh, the most important thing here. Um, and just for reference, um, the link to uh, the manual on php.net is at this link right here, which has um, a page which has many different uh, descriptions on what everything means and all that wonderful stuff. So what I can say here is private um, dollar sign $z and dollar sign $a. Uh, what this essentially means is that only functions within this sum class will be able to access z and a. Otherwise, I could say, well, let me just kind of initiate something here equals new sum. And now, if I did something and I try to do dollar sign a, uh, it would, or just a, it would not like that because I am not supposed to be able to access it. Now, this kind of dash um, arrow kind of means um, go within this object and do something. So I'm just going to get rid of that for now. And I'm going to make a function. And it's going to be uh, public uh, foo. And there we go. It doesn't really return anything. But that doesn't really matter at this certain point. It says it's unexpected. Perhaps we should try to say private A. Eh, still doesn't like it. And the problem was I needed to put in function foo. So function, and then there we go. So now I have a public function foo, which can be accessed from the outside. And now I'm going to make a public function bar, which um, looks at, let's just say, um, let's say beans equals, and here's where I'm introducing the uh, pseudo variable this. And what it means is that look inside of this specific class that I'm currently with. So I'm going to point at A. Um, and now I'm going to say return. Um, beans times 4. But I'm just going to say that I want to have A and Z set um, 
on initiation of this class. And here's another introduction to what's called the magic functions. So I can say public function underscore underscore and then I could say construct. What this essentially is, is that this is the function which is called right when this happens. So I can say this a equals three and this b, no it's not b, it's c, equals um, I like chocolate milk. And there's the end of that. So now when this is called um, right here, a and z are set to these variables that I have uh, determined. So when I call bar, it should uh, return uh, whatever a is times 4, and that would be 3. So now let's get on to the idea of where uh, foo returns another class. So first I'm going to make this other class um, for use. So class other uh, private e f and g and then public function z and there we go and public function underscore underscore construct so now we have kind of the uh, skeleton of this class here so I want to say on construct I want to say that they need to give me whatever um, e f and g are or let's just say e and f so e and f I'm going to say this dollar sign e well this e equals dollar sign e dollar sign uh, this f equals dollar sign f and dollar sign this uh, g equals dollar sign f times 23. Let's just make it 12 so we can, or 10, so we can kind of see the results easier. And uh, now we have um, to do something with foo. So I'm going to say uh, return new other, and I'm going to say that E and F are my this A and this um, F. Now, if you kind of see what's going on here, I have a string here that is obviously not a number. So I am going to go down here and I'm going to do some casting. I'm going to say this has to be a real number. This has to be a real number. And this has to be a real number again. And now, if they do say this, um, it will pretty much be... Uh, zero when it is converted to a real number. So for my own reasons I am going to go ahead and say real of this and then I'm going to say plus one. That way if it's zero then I'll have at least ten. So now I can say in Z return this Let's see here. What was it looking at? It's looking at E and G. So I'm going to say E times this G. So uh, from what we have, if we're putting in A, which is 3, I should have E being 3. And if I'm putting in 0 for, um, for the second variable, which ends up being F, then this should be 1 times 10. And 10 times 3 over here should be 30. So now if I say I go dollar sign something and I say let's just say bar. Um, and let's yeah. No, it's foo. My bad. Foo. Not goo. Foo. And uh, I don't have any uh, things there. So now I, um, I'm looking at Z. Um, and now I'm going to say new line because I'm going to run this in the terminal. So let's bring in the terminal over here. 
PHP intro. I get 30, as I said earlier. So, essentially, um, to recap what I did, I created two classes here. One called sum, one called other. So, uh, now that I have these two classes, I had to also create kind of an initiation function, which is the construct function. And with that, I kind of have my own private variables. And um, if you wanted to have a public variable, you could just say uh, public dollar sign some, uh, something. But I'm not going to be doing that in this example. And uh, now, um, that's really all I had to do. Um, and this kind of goes to something like chaining, in that I am chaining from a class to one function which returns another class which then I use a function from that. Um, but usually chaining refers to uh, returning the same class like uh, let's just say public function uh, try and it will return this. So supposedly I'm just going to say this a plus uh, plus plus so a should go up and now if I do something like uh, foo or rather echo something and I'm going to say try and I could just say try again and then I could say foo and then z so I'm going to comment this out and run it once more just to see how it looks. So I have 50. And the reason why is because try was executed twice. Um, so, uh, whoops, not that line, this line. Um, so that means that it went from 3 to 4 to 5. And then 5 was passed into other on foo. And other was then uh, with those functions, uh, not functions, variables or parameters. Um, was used in Z. And Z, which is this one, which is 5 times 10, is 50, as seen right here. So, that's just kind of the basic idea of both chaining and using objects. Uh, I will probably not be using anything on a website soon in terms of uh, tutorials, but I will be doing stuff in the terminal for just kind of basic results uh, from doing certain things with classes. Um, if you have any suggestions, please visit my website at clapa321.com and I have tutorials available uh, for many different subjects like from MySQL to just normal PHP and they're all video tutorials and every single one of them includes the source code of everything I've done and kind of a basic description on everything. So, and also please feel free to comment. And if you would really like to, it would be nice if you would be willing to uh, to subscribe to my newsletter uh, that comes out whenever I post um, on the on this. Um, or you can subscribe to me on YouTube. Feel free to also uh, donate if you wish. And. This is Club 321 signing off.